Blessed art thou, Jehovah God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. In Jehovah's name, we come before you, O Jehovah, even in these last days, as the children of Israel, most high, giving testimony that you are righteous, that you are just, that you are merciful, O most high. And we come here even as the descendants of even our ancestors who were slaughtered in this place, asking and begging for righteous judgment upon Babylon. In 1863, man, we thought that we was free. Fighting the war, we know what it was to hit the streets, so we spread the rumors. We told all our families, we gathered the over folks and the children and hit some leaves. We were walking and running, cause they said that we'll be free. Just go down in this hole and if you make it, then you will be up north with the free folks. We you chill and you eat, folks. I didn't know where it was, but somehow I did say some eat. But that's the one with these heathens. We know where it could have been. We know if we made it up out this hole, where it should have been. So we took to the streets. You know the rumors spread it real fast. We told all the Hebrews, you know we made them happy. The mama to grandma, everybody in this hole, at least the amount that we can get to go. And that's 20,000. Man, this shit out of control. It's been six months. How the hell we get this devil's punch? Oh. At night, almost high. And hold themselves not guilty. They hold themselves innocent, even as they shed the blood of our, of our sons, of our daughters, of our elders, father, of the young and of the old, of the weak and of the strong, almost high. They have shown no pity. They have shown no mercy. When the slaves were released from the plantations so and the occupation, they overran batches. And the population went from about... Democracy filled with free. That just been feel the same. They slaughtered and murdered us. We wish we were still the slave. They rather be picking cotton than rotting their life away. Invested with smallpox, corruption would never stop. While working around the clock, they buried you where you drop. Your planet us like we crops and hope that we never sprout. But Yah has a final plan. Deliver us from this land. He never intended for us to be destroyed by the hands of man. Kidnap our soul. The devil punch bowl. Still in existence under FEMA's control. FEMA's control. Rex 84. Rex 84. The king got for plain. These crackers are plotting. I hope y'all Hebrews are praying. Begging for mercy. Screaming for grace. Preparing your soul for what you destined to face. 13 elites. The mark of the beast. I'm spiritually grinding. Giving our praises to thee. Most high. Even the blood of the saints who were slaughtered. Even by the whore of Babylon as she becomes drunk off of the blood of our people. Oh, Jehovah, have mercy on us. Even gather the remnant of Judah and of Israel together in spirit and in truth. Remove even the divisions, O Most High God, that keep us from coming together. And let us come together in love and forgiveness and unity, Most High, and in faithfulness and in obedience and submission in spirit and in truth. We just pray on behalf of our people, Yisrael, O Most High, that you have caused us to stand in these last days. Give us strength, O Yehovah. Pour the Ruach HaKodesh upon us, O Yah. Pour out the latter rain, O Most High. Show mercy unto us. Deliver us, O Yehovah. Open the gates of heaven unto our prayer. Yehoshua, receive our prayer. O Yah, receive our prayer. Heavenly Father, let our prayer be as of, of, of a sweet incense before the altar of thy throne, O oh God. Remember us. Remember the covenant that you made with our forefathers. We repent. Forgive us, O oh God. We have transgressed. We have dealt iniquitously. Our, our men and our women and our sons and our daughters, we are all guilty. But we repent with the whole heart. Forgive us, Yahweh. Deliver us, Yahweh. Pardon our transgressions. Salak Panu. Forgive us, O oh Yah. Deliver us from this bondage, O oh Yah. From from this evil, from this pain, from this oppression, from from from, no, no, from all this terror, day and night, O oh Yahweh. Hear us, O oh Yah. Deliver us, O oh Heavenly no, Father. No. Yahweh, you forgive us, but we have slaughtered you and we turned you over to the enemy. And we hope that we serve you in spirit and in truth, and that our sacrifices and our bondage and our oppression is, 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 is compensation for yours. Oh, yeah, we know that you have waited for us longer than we have waited for you. So have mercy on us, O oh, Most High God. Pause.
the house of Judah to stand. Cause the house of Israel to stand, O Most High God. And as we stand, bring down the adversary. For Jacob means the supplanter, O Yahushua. So to supplant and grab the heel of Esau, we must be on the ground, and we are on the ground. Now, help us stand up, and as we stand up, let us take the heel of this oppressor and slam him into the ground, Most High God, and let him go into the pit. Let him go into the devil's punch bowl. Let him go there, Most High God. Bring righteous judgment on your host world. you are righteous, that you are just, that you are merciful, O Most High. And we come here even as the descendants of even our ancestors who were slaughtered in this place, asking and begging for righteous judgment upon Babylon. In 1863, man, we thought that we was free. Fighting the war, we know what it was to hit the street, so we spread the rumors. We told all our families, we gathered the old folks in the children and hit them leaves. We were walking and running. Cause they said that we'll be free Just go down in this hole And if you make it then you will be Up north with them free folks With your chill and your east folks I didn't know where it was But somehow I did say some geese But that's the war with these heathens We know where it could have been We know if we made it up out this hole Where it should have been So we took to the streets You know the rumors spreading real fast We told all the Hebrews You know we made them happy From mama to grandma Everybody in this hole at least Amount that we can get to go And it's 20,000 Man, this shit out of control It's been six months How the hell we get this devil's punch bowl? In night, O Most High And hold themselves not guilty They hold themselves innocent Even as they shed the blood of our Of our sons, of our daughters Of our elders, fathers Of the young and of the old Of the weak and of the strong, O Most High They have shown no pity They have shown no mercy from the plantation no, no, no. and the occupation, they overran matches, and the population went from about. We just, we pray, just pray on behalf on of our people, people. Yisrael, 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 almost high, high, that you have caused us to stand in these last days. Give us strength for your hope. Pour the rock over death upon us, O Yah. Pour out the latter rain, O Most High. Show mercy unto us. Deliver us, O Yahweh. Open the gates of heaven unto our prayer. Yahweh, Yahweh, receive our prayer. Receive our prayer. Man. Man. Uh, are we. Let's see. Shabbat Shalom, Mishpachah. It is good to be here. We're out on location today. Hallelujah. All praises to the Most High. Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All praises. Um, man, Israel, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on in the world, and there's a lot going on in this truth and in this walk. And this is the time. If you haven't tuned in to the spirit, this is the time to get into the spirit and for us all to get our households in order. Man, we want to give thanks to Yah because he is our protector. He is our strength. He is our rock and our salvation. Oh, Here, yeah. in, well, we're not in Georgia today. All praise to the most high, Yah. Because, <laughs> you know, um, the laws that have been passed in Georgia has now pretty much made it illegal for anyone to have any kind of thought or, or or free will or, or ideas in align with the scriptures or anything that is against the, the narrative that the uh, the colonizers, the Edomites, the Amalekites want us to have. We even have to be careful of of the words and terminology that is now being used, especially for Hebrews in the state of Georgia. We're currently out of Georgia. <laughs> but we still got to be careful. But we still got to be wise. We got to go back to Georgia at some point. Jane, yeah, we got to be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. 
But um, for all intents and purposes, the time of persecution is about to come upon the true saints of the Most High Yah. And it's, 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 it's time for us as, as a community to really start to come together and band together and appreciate each other's gifts and talent, and love one another with brotherly love and sisterly love. This is the season now where we're going to have to need and depend on one another more than we ever have. And why is this happening? Because the truth is spreading. Yehoshua said that in the last days, once his gospel is truly preached, then the end will come. Now, Christianity has been around for 2,000 plus years being preached, right? That hasn't changed anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But when we come back to who we are in Yah, then we see all of the tribulation and the commotion. And now this is upsetting the new world order. The new world order is being upset right now by the mighty power of the Most High Yah and Yehoshua HaMashiach. And so because of these things, we have to now be ready. We have to get our households in order. We have to prepare like Joseph prepared, right? We got to prepare like Daniel prepared, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They're going to try to turn this fire seven times hotter. In fact, it's already started to me, the seven times hotter, like, We've already been in tribulation and affliction as a people, but now they're really starting to turn up the heat, especially and specifically in the state of Georgia, which doesn't even have a large percentage of Esau in it or Am uh, Amalekites. All right. The Amalekites. These are subliminal laws against the awakening specifically, and they will never admit this. But we know what it is because the truth is getting out there and it's actually impacting the world. And even though we as a people have very little and minimum that is in our control, what is in our control is to preach this word and to keep the law, statutes, and commandments of Yah and Yehoshua and the faith of the Messiah. That's in our control. Right. Hallelujah. And if we do that, we actually control everything. And this is what they're afraid of. So we're going to talk about this today. We're glad to see y'all all grateful for some beautiful weather um, and for an opportunity to share with everyone today. Y'all ready to get into this word? Hey. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Blessed be thy name. Most high Yah, great God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. There is no rock besides you. You are the Elohim who saved Daniel out of the lion's den. You saved Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego out of the flaming furnace. That was heated seven times hotter. You saved David, thy servant, even as he was a fugitive from the hand of King Saul. Even as he wandered in the wilderness with his 400 men, most high, I was it 600 men. He's 600 men, right? You protected him and everyone with him. And every time they went to war and battle, they didn't leave and lose not a soul. Because you was his rock and you was his salvation. You are the same Elohim who saved Moses and the children of Israel from the mighty hand of Pharaoh and devastated Egypt by great plagues, mighty signs and wonders, most high, devastating their economy, devastating their crops, their increase, devastating, Father, their military. In a blink of an eye, you destroyed the entire army in a moment. <laughs> Hallelujah. And shall you not do the same to these heathen most high who test you, even as you're telling the people, these heathen, to let your people go and they refuse to hear your voice. They have hardened their heart greater than that of Pharaoh. Shall you not bring a greater judgment? Have you not only brought up and raised up the United States of America as great as it is today just to show your mighty power by bringing it down? Have you not allowed it to become the superpower, quote unquote, of the earth in this season so that you could bring it down to raise your name up. Shall you not do these things by your mighty hand? And so we thank you, Most High Yah. We put our faith and our hope in you and our trust in you. And we pray for your divine wisdom and discernment and what we say and do as a community, even as a body, even as a family of Kai Yeshua, the body of Kai Yeshua. Beit Elohim, the ancient order of Melchizedek and all of those worshiping in spirit and in truth to the Yehudim and then to the Gentiles worshiping the spirit and the truth. Give us godly discernment in this time, Most High Yah. Let us stay according to your Ruach and what you would have us to speak. Let us speak that and only that, Most High, that we are blameless and perfect, Most High, and beyond reproach of the heathen and of the enemy and of the devil. 
So please bless this, this broadcast. Please forgive our sins. Please heal us. Please renew our strength. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. In your host's name, hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Shalom, brother. How you doing, Ock? I'm doing all right. Yourself? All right. How's your family? Everybody good? Okay, they're doing all right. They're all upstairs. <laughs> okay, King. Okay. Praise y'all. Yeah. So, like we said before, we're on location today. <laughs> and um, we want to bring forth this broadcast and pray that it, it, it gives some understanding as to what is going on. Let's first, let's get into, uh, let me show you what is happening. And then we're going to get some scriptures on that. I'm going to share you can pull them up. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. Um, let's see. Okay. Let me scroll up a little bit. All right. Georgia governor signs bill that would define anti-Semitism in state law. So we have a situation where the government of the United States, starting in Georgia, is giving uh, specific uh, protections for a certain community, whereas it has continually and systematically overlooked the children of Israel, Black people and Hispanic people, Native American people, and the indigenous of this land and other lands whom the United States has colonized, has op oppressed, inflicted, put in chattel slavery, Jim Crow, redlining, uh, what else? Lynching. Uh, uh, what, what else have they done to us? Uh, uh, denying us uh, loans, jobs, uh, destroyed our businesses, destroyed and burnt our towns and communities that did well, well wet, Redwood, uh, uh, others. Uh, I can't think of the other ones on the tip of my tongue, but there was more than just Redwood. All of these things and protections we were never given. And they have taken our reparations money and they have given it to Ukraine. Why do you think Ukraine is losing so badly and is being utterly obliterated and destroyed by the Russian army? Because that is the finances and the money that they owe our people. And they've given it to a nation that has absolutely less than nothing to do with us. They've taken our resources, what we have worked hard for, our tax money. But most, most importantly, what they owe us and they owe our ancestors, they frivolously give it out. And that's why they're losing it and it's pouring out like water. And so now the United States of, of America's economy is on the down spin and uh, bricks, which is uh, 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 what is that? Uh, I was uh, Iran, China, Russia. I can't remember. all. I think Saudi Arabia. They're all putting their money together. And this is causing the United States dollar and economy to descend and decline rapidly. But that is because they have taken, they have refused to repent. They have refused to apologize. They have refused to give our people what they deserve, what we deserve, which is reparations for slavery and oppression. So now they have done these things. So what we're going to do really quickly is I want to get to the scripture. I want to read what Yehoshua said about these days and times. And then we're going to show you these laws that they're passing in Georgia to si try to silence the awakening. Again, we have no specific protections for our nation, and we're the, mo the most ones uh, uh, brutalized, victimized, assaulted, killed by heathen, by the police, by the government, by all of these things. And even the first to die, even in this in this foreign war overseas, it was three black people who was killed, three three American soldiers, blacks, to die uh, in this conflict with um, Yemen, right? The Houthis. It was our people who died first, yeah. and we still don't get any just due, but everybody else gets their due. But these days of looking over us is about to be at its, at its, at its end, at its close. So we have to hold on. We have to endure. We have to stand and fight. All praise to the Most High. Let's go to the book of Matthew chapter, chapter 10. We're going to read some scripts and go straight into this, all right? And we're working against time today, so we're, we're outside, so we're going to try to beat this sun going down. <laughs> But I'm loving this this on location thing. Hey. All praise to the most high. This is Are we saw that first one. Uh no. We're gonna go to Matthew 10. And let's start at verse 5. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
King. Matthew 10 and 5. We're going to get this on the screen. Oh, man. Let me get this article yeah. up in the meantime as until you get that ready. Okay. All right. Governor uh, Georgia governor signs bill that would define anti-Semitism in a state law. And right here we see the governor, Brian Kemp, signing a bill that benefits how many of our people? Do you see any of us in this picture? Wasn't Georgia one of the worst places for slaves to, to, to live in? Wasn't that like one of the most brutal states for slavery? and oppression, Jim Crow, but we don't get any protection. But look at these people. These people need even more protections. Do you see us represented here? Not at all. Okay. So let's read this. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp on Wednesday. That was last week, right? No, the 31st was, was that last, this, this week? Last week. Last week? Uh, well, it's a week before last. Okay. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp on Wednesday signed a law defining anti-Semitism and state law. So you see how quickly they can bring up a law. This is how quickly they can bring up a law, pose it, and pass a bill. But whenever it comes to reparations, they have to they have to uh, put, uh, what do they say? They have to give it a hearing or trials or uh, they want to do, what do they say? Uh let me somebody maybe somebody put in the uh, comments. I can't remember what they said. They have to do a study. They have to do research to see if reparations is feasible and how it would work and all of that. And they need time. And, you know, every every election cycle. Yeah, they want to do a study. Right. But when it comes to something they really want to pass, hey, they can just write it into law immediately. All right. So Georgia Governor Brian Kemp on Wednesday uh, signed a law defining anti-Semitism in state law, proclaiming support for for Jew for uh. <laughs> should I even say the word? Uh -uh. No. No. For for Amalekite residents, despite concerns, the measure would hamper people opposing the actions of Israel. The Republican governor said by enacting the law. He was reaffirming our commitment to a Georgia where, where all people can live, earn, and prosper safely because there's no place for hate in this great state. Now, Georgia was founded on the Ku Klux Klan. Georgia was founded on um, uh, um, racial, anti-Black racism, hatred, lynching, murdering, uh, uh, SA, um, intimate assault against our women. And against our young men, lynchings, mutilations, all of these things took place in Georgia and they have never uh, given us a uh, reconciliation. They have never made good on these things. But now other people can come up in the blinking of an eye and get more protections and we never got anything. OK, so this is the hypocrisy we're talking about. Are we good with the scripture? Almost. OK, sure. Kemp likened it to when he signed a measure in 2020 that allows additional penalties to be imposed for crimes motivated by a victim's race. Check this out. This is the this is I'm going to show you why this is so hypocritical. Kemp likened it. To when he signed a measure in 2020 that allows additional penalties to be imposed for crimes motivated by a victim's race, religion, sexual orientation, or other factors. So what's the problem with that? What's wrong with that? Is that there's already laws on the books for this. So why do they get to have a specific law that's greater than everybody else's when everybody else has to deal by this. They get their own specific law that supersedes even this. So they get the protection of this law and then another one on top of that while none of us get anything. So if if race and religion and all of these things were already protected, why, why does another law have to be passed? So who's really being victimized here? It's us. 
you can't you okay we can't uh get the scriptures on the screen so aki what i want you to do is i want you to pull up matthew 10 <clears throat> and i want you um to go to verse 11 matthew 10 and 11. Okay. this is the book of matthew chapter 10 verse 11. and into whatsoever city or town you shall enter inquire who in it is worthy and there abide till you go thence whatever city town or state even if it be georgia if you go there and you think it's good to preach the word and to live and to flourish so be it go ahead Damn. and when you come into a house salute it and if the house be worthy let your shalom come upon it but if, if it be you... worthy the place or the city or state where you live if or, or even country if it's worthy let your peace dwell there but mm -hmm. now we as a nation we have to start taking our peace away from these jurisdictions we now have to start praying against these people who hate and pray against us we need to take our peace away from them. We need to start taking our dollars away from these people. All we need to do is start focusing on the things and the necessities that we need. But a lot of the extra stuff that people may be doing, maybe it's time that we should refocus and redirect our resources and our energy and our finances and so forth. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. But, but if it be not worthy, let your shalom return to you. If it's not good, let our shalom be taken out of it. Okay. So you know what happens when we take our shalom out of a, out of a society? It falls mm -hmm. because all of these societies are built on our backs and on our labor, on our ingenuity, on our inventions, on our energy. Go ahead. Okay. Verse 14. And whosoever shall not receive you nor hear your words, when you depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. Shake the dust off your feet when they don't want to hear this word no more. This is what Messiah says about this. Go ahead. And they Verily. used to scoff at us years ago. They used to scoff at us when we would preach this word, but now they see the power of it. So now they got to change laws. So that's what I want to talk about. So whenever they're winning, it's the laws and the, the laws are good, right? When when it benefits them, oh, America's a free, it's a, it's a fair and, and balanced nation and its laws are just and such and such and such. But whenever we start to prosper and see now the word is more powerful than their, than their weapons of mass destruction. The word is more powerful than their media. The word is more powerful than their government. Now that the word is really getting out from the people who are the chosen of the most high, now they got to change the rules. Mm -hmm. Now they got to change the rules. When the rules suit them, the rules are just fine. The, the courts will uphold them to the, to the high and give us the highest uh, uh, incarceration rates. Right? Mm -hmm. The lowest wages, yep. the most oppression. Oh, it's good. Pull yourself up by the bootstraps. <laughs> right work within the system you got to be smarter than the system you got to do this but the minute now that they're being revealed for who they really are now the laws aren't good enough now we need new laws on the books and they have never upheld these laws to protect us to begin with king go ahead Ak. verse 15 verily i say unto you it shall be more tolerable for the land of Saddam and Amorah in the day of judgment than for that city. It would be better than to live in Sodom and Gomorrah than to live in these states and these areas when Yah brings his judgments. And look, World War Three is at the door. Yeah, yeah, don't see this. World War Three is at the door. Judgment is at the door. And he said it would be better to be an inhabitant of Sodom and Gomorrah than to be in these places when Yah brings his judgment. Let's go back to this this article Kemp likened it to when he signed a measure in 2020 that allows additional penalties to be imposed for crimes motivated by a victim's race, religion, sexual orientation, or other factors. So when people do these crimes against us, they're still not charged, right? That hate crimes law was spurred by the killing of Ahmad Arbery, a black man pursued and fatally shot while running near Brunswick, Georgia. So now, in Brunswick, Georgia, I'm going to show you how hypocritical this law is. Ahmaud Arbery was murdered in 2020, right, by uh, two uh, um, uh, two Edomites. 
And they just started to pursue him and they literally shot him down in cold blood with a shotgun and I think a handgun while he was minding his business, just trying to get exercise. And these men were not arrested. They were not charged. And the DA, which is a woman, I forget her name. She gave them a pass. And then it became national news. And that's when they had to revisit that particular case. Now, I'm saying all of that to say this, that they did arrest and finally imprison uh, those who murdered this man. But do you know that the DA who uh, brought that up, she's still, um, I forget her name. She's, she was supposed to be charged for conspiracy for protecting these people from being prosecuted for, for the murder of Amart Arbery. Arbery. I just saw something, uh, I think two or three weeks ago, she still hasn't been even um, ar arrested and arraigned. She's supposed to have a trial date for everything she did to uh, to 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 hide the murder of Ahmaud Arbery. And she still hasn't even gone to trial. And this has been like uh, we're in now 2024. Four years later, she still hasn't even been tried. So what what hate crime bill? What, what are they talking about? When do we get the protections? All right, let's go. Verse 16. Behold. Hold, hold, um, okay, let's go back to the scripture. All right, go ahead. I'll see her. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Mm. Be therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Israel, this is the time to be extremely wise. We have to guard our tongues and our hearts. And again, I want to say this. We as Hebrew Nazarenes, we don't hate anybody. All we want is justice. Mm -hmm. We don't we don't hate anybody. We don't want to see anybody perish. Um, we rather see all peoples turn to the most high and spirit and in truth and repent. We're just standing up for our people the same way that Moses stood up for his people. Where in the law do you see that Moses hated the Egyptians? Where does it say that Moses hated Pharaoh? Where do you see that? Didn't Moses, didn't y'all send Moses to Pharaoh and tell him, let my people go? Didn't he go over and over and again, giving them ample time to repent, make good? That's all they wanted to be free. That's all they wanted. They just wanted to be free. All the blood that the Egyptians shed against the children of Israel, did Moses ever say, we hate you, we can't stand you? But no, they hardened their heart. The Egyptians hardened their heart. Pharaoh hardened his heart. The magicians and the sorcerers, they hardened their hearts. And they started doing more witchcraft and magic. And they started making it even harder. They turned it up that much harder and made the children of Israel get their bricks uh, without straw. And made their lives even more bitter. And that's what they're doing now. Why? Because they're losing the information war and they're losing the spiritual war. The saints of Israel are waking up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to go back to this uh, article. The, the anti-Semitism definition measure had stalled in 2023, but was pushed with fresh urgency this year. Why was there so much urgency to push this through now? <laughs> What's been happening now and in the last few months on YouTube on, on, and on the Internet with the children of Israel? <laughs> That now they oh we gotta push this through. Hmm. Suspicious. <laughs> so, the anti-Semitism definition measure has stalled in 2023, but was pushed with fresh urgency this year amid the Hamas Israel Hamas war and reported in a reported surge in anti-Semitic incidents in Georgia. Can do you believe that? I have never. Like, you don't hear about, you don't. And look, I look, there's even a, one of the grocery stores in one of their neighborhoods that I'll go to occasionally. Like, you don't hear of nothing. Mm -mm. And it's, it's a community, but it's not big. It's not like New York. It's not like you got, was it down in the Miami area? No. It's, it's not, and their communities like are usually separated from other communities. So what are you, what are you even talking about? They, 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 they live in their own, own communities. Stores, they own 
So who's going into their communities where, where everyone else will be outnumbered to do harm against it? It just doesn't, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Nope. You know, but, we, you know, that's what they say. But there's definitely always, we're always at the highest uh, surge of incidents. Racial incidents is always against us. So where's our, uh, where's our just do? All right, go ahead. Oh, I mean, let me finish reading this, right? Sponsors say adopting this 2016 definition put forward by the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance will help prosecutors and other officials identify hate crimes and illegal discrimination targeting Amalekite people. Well, since they want to help prosecute those who target these people, doesn't the Ku Klux Klan target these people? <laughs> yeah. Doesn't the Ku Klux Klan, don't they say that they hate this group of people? Why don't they go after the Klan? Why don't they shut down the Klan? Why don't they mass arrest and incarcerate them? They've been hating these groups of people as long as they've been hating us. I forgot a lot of the judges and, and politicians are Klan's members too. And the law enforcement people. Mm -hmm. So if they're really about this, then why aren't there clans? Why, why isn't there a, a, a RICO case against the clan? We should see that, right? Good. That could lead to higher penalties under the 2020 hate crimes law. The definition, which is only referred to in the bill, describes anti-Semitism as a certain perception of Amalekites, which may be expressed as hatred towards uh, them. Now, we, again, do not hate them. We don't want to see any wrongful attacks against them. Um, we just talk about certain inconsistencies and some of their dealings with our people. And mm -hmm. go ahead. But notice that word perception used. Using that word allows it open to a vast interpretation for the offense. Mm -hmm. It just has to be perceived. It doesn't have to be real. It doesn't have to be factual. It doesn't have to be factual. It just has to be, I feel like you saying this is against me. And guess what? Now you're going to jail. So do they not do they not think and know that Yah sees this? And it, I mean, isn't the hand of the most high evident on this nation that he's bringing it down? When they start coming after the children of Israel to afflict us, this is going to bring the rapid decline of their nation. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of them hate us so much that this is a chance they're willing to take. <laughs> so it is what it is. But we have to endure to the end. By Shem Yehoshua Mashiach. Let's get some comments. Do we have any comments? Uh, yes, let's see here. Um, this is her first comment. Mm -hmm. she said, oh, yeah. Um, this is um, um Tangy Larson says that they have started taking over the black neighborhood that I live in, in Miami. even in Miami. Wow, that happened in Brooklyn, that happened in Jersey, that I know of, that happened in Philly. Uh, I'm trying to think of other places where I hear that happening. You know, all of these things are happening all over the place. You know, but, but where's the protections? You know what I'm saying? Where's the protections? Go ahead. Um, Eliezer the Goyan, he said, Hey, shalom, brother. Them people, I, they don't need no any more protection. <laughs> they get double and triple protection. Right. Mm -hmm. Same, brother. Mm-hmm. Brother Malak posted, 2022 FBI says there were 6,557 reported incidents, anti-Black or African-American incidents numbering 3,421, which were more than three times higher than the next Shh. highest racial or ethnic category. That's what we're talking about. That's the inequities that we're talking about. And that's why we stand up for y'all and for our people when we make these videos and, and this content. This thing has nothing to do with hate. Nope. This has to do with, with righteousness and justice and equity. You know what I'm saying? Which they still want to overlook and still want to criminalize other people. 
right? By overlooking our afflictions. All right. Yeah, we got a, uh, okay. Right. Somebody got him out. I don't know. I can't. From here, I just thought I can't tell. Okay. Oh, I see him. Yeah, but I, you, you have to log and see it from YouTube if you okay. I got him. Okay. I got him just now. Okay. Yeah, so we get the trolls in here. They be mad. Like, yeah. You know, the, the trolls be mad, man. That's what I said. When they lose in the game, they start changing the law. So they lose in the game. That's why they come in here trolling. You know what I'm saying? All we do is stick to the scripture. All we got to do is do these law, statutes, commandments. Oh, Sister Nicole, we don't have our mic with us. So um, I can't have my computer on at the same time uh, with the mic audio. So it might be a little low. Oh, okay. We, didn't have, we don't have the mic. I just turned my volume up a little bit. Hopefully okay. that'll help. Okay. Jane, um, yeah, we're on location. Uh, so, <laughs> all right, let's get back to, um, let's get back to the scripture. Let's go back to Matthew 10. Let's pick up where we left off at. Okay. Uh, this is uh, Matthew 10, verse 17. But beware. Let me, let me see if I can pull that up real quick. Uh, okay, you got it? We're going to try to pull because I really want that scripture on the screen so we can see what what, what you is saying, because these are instructions for these times, especially for those of those who live in Georgia. But Georgia is probably one of the beginning locations. Oh, perfect. Good. Okay, what verse are we Matthew 10. Uh, let's start at verse. 17. Okay. Yehoshua already told us about that. Scroll it up, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Matthew 10, 17. This is Yehoshua's instructions to us in these times. Go ahead. Okay. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils. They want to they deliver us up to these governments. Right? Yehoshua said they would try to do this. Go ahead. And they will scourge you in their congregations. Mm. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my for sake. sake. For my sake, for Yehoshua's for sake. sake. So okay. we're going to take a look at this. This is exactly what we're seeing here. So we see an example of what Yehoshua is talking about. We see the governor of Georgia signing something, a protection into law that doesn't protect our people, but we're three times more likely to be racially harassed than any other, than, than the next highest group mm -hmm. by their own studies. Let's get a scripture. Um, I want to go, I want to go to Zechariah 11. We're going to come back here, Zechariah 11 and 5. Let's start at four. Zechariah eleven and four. Okay. Actually, no, no, no. Let's start. <laughs> let's start at Zechariah eleven. Let's start at the top at verse one. Okay. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter eleven and verse one. Open thy doors, O Lebanon, that the fire may devour your cedars. Howl, fir trees, for the cedar is fallen because what of my. What does mean that the cedar is fallen? What, what what is what is y'all talking about? Like, what, is he just talking about you know, uh, just agriculture? What is what is what is y'all saying? Hmm. Any y'all know? I know like cedars are like strong trees. Cane. Like the the cedars <laughs> are like some of the biggest trees in the forest. And they lift themselves up high and are exalted. So Yah is about to bring judgment on the exalted, on the proud, on the lofty. Mm -hmm. Which is who's the superpower? Who's who's the highest nation in the world, supposedly, right now? The United States of America. So they would represent the cedar tree. So the cedar tree is about to be falling. So the Most High is about to make Babylon fall. So that's what it means by the cedar tree. The tough 
thick, tall tree that you would think nobody can cut down or what have you, that tree is about to get cut down. Go ahead. Mm. How fir tree for the cedar is fallen because the mighty are spoiled. Because the mighty are spoiled. The people who are used to spoiling others, their turn is coming. Mm. So it doesn't matter what they sign into legislation to harass Israelites and, and Nazarene Hebrews and so forth. It doesn't matter. The word of Yah stands. Go ahead. Mm. O ye oaks of Bashan, for the forest of the vintage is come down. There is a voice of the howling of the shepherds. And who's for the shepherds? The ones who rule over the sheep. Mm. Now, we're Yah's chosen sheep. We're the lost sheep of Israel, but the heathen rule over us now. So it's saying that the, the shepherds are howling. So if the shepherds are howling, that means they're complaining that they're losing. They're mm. losing the game, even though they rigged the game, even the game, even though the game is rigged and fixed, they're still losing. Is there a situation I need to be aware of? What's going on? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Damn. So now they're losing the game that they rigged and fixed to always win. So now because of it, they're howling, they're crying, they're complaining. This is what Yah has said. Go ahead. For their glory is spoiled. A mm. voice. See ya. Go ahead. A, a voice of the roaring of young lions for the pride of Yarden is spoiled. Go ahead. Thus saith Yahweh, my Elohim, feed the flock of the slaughter whose possessor slay them. And hold themselves not guilty. So these people, Kemp and the governor and these clansmen and, and, and everyone associated with them, they still slay our people, unjustly incarcerate us, give us the longest incarceration times for the same crimes or less than what they do. And they still hold themselves not guilty. You think Yah is not bringing judgment on them right now for this? Do you? Did you see the the interview with Tucker Carlson going to Russia and all and, and Putin? Don't you know that Russia is about to unleash on the United States of America? Don't you know that Yah has taken away the wisdom of the West? Don't you know that the United States of America is letting in all these migrants? But with these migrants, you have Russian agents coming in here. You got Iranian agents coming in here. You got Chinese uh, uh, agents who are coming in here who are soldiers who are going to set up the United States of America. And they're doing all of this migrant stuff to dilute our neighborhoods and further afflict and oppress us because we're not voting Democrat anymore. But don't you think that Yah knows this already? So the same thing that they're using to flood us out is the same thing that's going to bring destruction to their gates. They're letting in soldiers and people who really do hate the United States of America. We don't hate the United States of America. When did black people walk around hating this nation? And Because if we hated this nation, things would be totally different. Mm -hmm. We have been we've done our best to be law abiding citizens to raise families, to build, to work jobs. We tried to have our own communities before they burned them and robbed them and plundered them. We have been pretty much a law abiding peaceful nation within the nation. But the real enemies of America who hate America, guess what? They're sending them in through these migrant groups. And they are going to open the floodgates from the inside. They are gonna bomb the infrastructure, they're going to cause the blackouts here in the United States of America, just like Barack Obama showed you in his movie. These agents that are in here, they're going to be the ones to take down the power grids and leave y'all, render y'all useless and unable to fight. They already showed you what's going to happen. They know what's going to happen. So these laws that they're passing is not going to do anything but bring further judgment against their own selves. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Verse four and five, one more time. Okay. Thus saith Jehovah my Elohim, feed the flock of the slaughter, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. Right. And they that sell them say, they sell us, the they sell us in the courts, they sell us in the prisons, mm -hmm. right? They sell us, right. 
every system. They take your children away. Foster care. DCS. Uh, prison. Jail. Probation. You got to pay them every month to put an ankle monitor on you and you can't go anywhere. You're in bondage and you got to pay them to be on bondage. And then you got to check in with them every week or every month. All of these systems are meant to buy and sell and trade us. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Dang. Uh, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, blessed be Yehoah, for I am rich. And their own shepherds pity them not. And their own shepherds pity them not. So they show us no pity. They don't care what we go through. They don't care the afflictions and the persecution and inequities that we have to endure, that our ancestors endure. They could care less about that. So that's why these judgments is coming on them. Go ahead. Verse six. Okay. For I will no more uh, pity the inhabitants of the land. Say the so old now we're like it says in Revelation 18 or 17, he would have showed pity to Babylon the great, but now he won't. He would have spared America. But he will not. Go ahead. Mm. But lo, I will deliver the men, every one into his neighbor's hand mm. and, and into the hand of his kings. Mm. And they shall smite the land. And out of their hand, I will not deliver them. It's a wrap for the United States of America for what they've done to us. Go ahead. And I will feed the flock of slaughter. Even you, O of poor of the flock. Didn't and Yehoshua said, I know the blasphemy of those who call themselves Yehu demon or not. Okay. And he says, uh, uh, revelations. What is it? Two and, uh, uh, eight. Uh, I know, uh, what does he said? You are poor and they are rich. How does it go again? It says, I'm, um, I'm going to pull it up. Yeah. Pull it up really quickly. It says, I know thy works and tribulations and poverty, but thou art rich, but thou art rich. I know your tribulations and poverty. So this is what it means right here. When he says, and I will feed the flock of slaughter, even you, O poor of the flock. So we are the ones in poverty. The true Yehudim are in poverty. So he's going to be the one to deliver us and feed us and take care of us. So he's going to take care of the poor of the flock, which is us. Hallelujah. While he brings judgment on these heathen. Go ahead. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, and I took unto me two staves. The one I called beauty and the other I called bands. And I fed the flock. Right. Hallelujah. So he's going to restore our armies and the beauty. So that means the beauty of our women and the strength of our men is going to be restored back to us. Go ahead. Three shepherds also I cut off in one month. And my soul loathed them. And their soul also abhorred me. Right. These people are anti-Messiah. They hate Yehoshua HaMashiach. Let's go to uh, Jeremiah 50 and 7. Y'all like doing on location? Oh. Hallelujah. Shane. I need to get that. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah 50 and 7. Shane. All that found them had devoured them. And their adversary. Over a little bit because the logo is, the, the, the scriptures under the logo. I think yeah, it's here. Yeah, okay, go ahead. There you go. That's good. Cain. Hallelujah. All that found them have devoured them. All these people that found us mm -hmm. devoured us. Don't you know we created the computer? We created the laptop? A sister created GPS? What profit do we get out of it? We created the car. We probably created the plane. We created cell phones. We created electricity. We created the light bulb. We don't get none of the credit for it. We even created potato chips. Mm -hmm. It was a, bl a, a black cook in the South with slicing potatoes, razor thin, to serve for his master. And they said, man, that tastes good. And they made potato chips. Do we own any of the potato chip companies? Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. The guy who invented buffalo wings, he's in Buffalo, New York. His restaurant, an Italian restaurant, tried to take credit from the brother who created Buffalo Wings. 
a brother created that and they try to take the credit from him and he's still alive. So you got a, an Italian restaurant in Buffalo, New York saying, no, we invented Buffalo wings. An Italian restaurant. <laughs> They don't do that in an Italian restaurant. No, no, no. <laughs> they try to take credit for the buffalo wing. Like, we can't get nothing. Mm -hmm. All that found them have devoured them. So they take all of our innovations, our ideas, and they eat us, and they even eat our flesh. Go ahead. Dang. All that found them have devoured them. And their adversary said, we offend not. Because oh, we didn't do nothing wrong. You know the you know the meme of who I'm talking about. They always like this, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, "You're taking my house. You're taking my house." Mm -hmm. mm. Go ahead. All them that have found them devoured them, and their adversary said, "We offend not." Because they have sinned against Yehoah, the habitation of justice, even Yehoah, the hope of their fathers. Therefore, remove. Remove out of the midst of Babel. and go Come forth. out of her, my people. Come out of the midst of Babylon. Man. So and for go. some, it will be physically moving out of America. And for others, it's just moving out. But the American system is, is, is almost worldwide. Mm-hmm. So mostly y'all saying come out of her, come out of her spiritually, come out of her sins, come out of the world and come into the walk of Yehoshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse eight, remove out of the midst of Babel and go forth out of the land of the Chaldeans and be as the he goats before the flocks. Mm hmm. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babel an assembly of great nations from China, the North. Russia, Iran, uh, um, uh, Saudi Arabia. Uh, what's that, man? The BRICS nations. I think it's Venezuela, mm -hmm. North Korea. Um, a whole bunch of powerful nations. And the United States got the EU. And everybody else that <laughs> used to rock with, them, with the United States of America is now leaving. All of them African nations, they're not rocking with them no more. A mm -hmm. lot of the Arab nations, they're not rocking with the United States no more. And Europe, truth be told, don't even like U.S. anymore. Because now they see that all of these policies they've been enforcing pretty much really just benefit the U.S. And they get the crumbs after that. So all of these nations are kind of tired. The king of England is now stricken with, with cancer. He yeah. just got on the throne. The European power is falling. Joe Biden is a, a walking vegetable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good details. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Biden is a clown and mm -hmm. he is the one who locked up and separated more black families than anybody else in United States history. His policies put so many black men behind prison in order to separate men from the women for the same things and, 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 and a lot more or less than what the heathen do. The same thing that the heathen do we get punished 20 times greater for. And then when our brothers get out of jail, they still got a record. These people, they serve time. They get out. They could still be, they could run for president. <laughs> they can run for office having criminal records. Say, oh, I done my time. We don't have that luxury. Okay. So that's why y'all is bringing up this assembly of great nations. Go ahead. From the North country. Man. And they shall right. set mm -hmm. and they shall set themselves in array against her from so then now they're letting these migrants in, but you got migrants from China, from Russia, from Iran, from South Korea, 
and the enemies of the United States, they're coming in disguised as migrants, and these will be the ones to take down the power grid. These are going to be the ones to take down communication from within. These are going to be the ones to sabotage the United States of America, and they're going to open the, the, the floodgates so that these opposing army and militaries can evade the United States on U.S. soil. The United States have never been invaded, but it will this time. And those who are called and elect of the Most High will hear Yah's voice, and they will be guided and directed to a place of safety, just like Lot's family, the ones who didn't decide to turn back, just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the midst of nuclear fire but didn't get burned, just like Noah, when the floods came, they were on the ark and Yah shut the door and the rest of them perished. He's going to do the same thing and save our people while they get this judgment because they refuse to repent. Okay. Um, brother Asaph Ben Judah says, Shalom. Moray, I had cancer. And Kayashua prayed for me, as well as the Hebrew community, and I am healed. Praise Yah, hallelujah. Praise, Praise be the most high, Yah, hallelujah. 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 There's going to be mighty signs and wonders, and thank you for sharing that, that praise report. There's going to be signs and wonders in these times, because Yah is going to pour out his Ruach. As they start to shut down platforms where Israelites can hear the word, when they start to shut these things down, expect the outpouring to happen then. Okay. It will go hand in hand. Like I said, there's already a prophetess known in Israel now. Mm -hmm. He's going to raise up more. Oh, yeah. And then others are going to be healers, and others are going to be bringing down fiery judgments with their prayers against these heathen. Okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Amen. And they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. So when these nations aim at the United States with their nuclear missiles, none of them are going to miss because mm -hmm. America's defenses are going to be taken down from within. There's some for me to read. Say told our brother Malak. Malak, so Yah, I appreciate that. Thank yeah. you, Yah. Yah, bless you, brother. Appreciate that. And Sister Veronica Brown, we appreciate the support. Yah, bless you tremendously. Brother Anthony, Yah, bless you. Brother Arim, Yah, bless you. Sister Yaqabed, Yah, bless you. Many, Yah, bless y'all. We thank Yah for supporting the ministry continually. Yeah. Yeah. Brother, Yah, bless you. Yeah. Okay, Yah, bless you, Aki. Oh, told everybody. Okay. Told everybody. Gamata. Uzair Reishi, Saraftia, Nukia, uh, Kai, there's, there's so many. Kayil, <laughs> the Hood family, Amen. all of our families, our Hebrew students, all who support. We love you, man. We we thank you. Thank you for praying for us. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So these are the judgments that's coming down on Amen. Babylon. Go ahead. Verse 10. Okay. And Kastima shall be a spoil. All that spoil her shall be satisfied, saith Jehovah. Like all these nations that the United States sanctioned and oppressed, they're going to be, they're going to be licking their chops. They're going to take a lot of the Edomites here in the United States of America who refuse to give us reparations. They're going to be taken into captivity into Russia. They're going to be taken into captivity into China. They're going to be taken into captivity. The Sister Celestial, she prophesies on these things. They're going to be taken captive, and then they're going to blow this place up. You know, it's, um, what was, what was, which movie was that? Uh, the one with the whole, like, the ice storm that come in? Yeah. Day after tomorrow? Day after tomorrow. So King. if you remember towards the um, end, um, the whole, like, the migrant situation uh -huh. was reversed. Because Americans are trying to get into Mexico and make wow. their borders. Wow. And they had to make a deal to get Mexico <laughs> wow. to open their borders. Wow. So it's coming. It's coming. Mm -hmm. Amina, Amina, yeah, bless you. Toda, and thank you for the support. We appreciate that super chat. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going down. 
So all of them will be going into captivity. The ones who refuse to acknowledge our plight, they will be going into it. The ones who are, are saved alive and they're going to be going into hard and cruel bondage. But Yah is going to deliver his people. So that's why it says, come out of her, my people. Because in the book of Amos, he says, out of Babylon, he's going to save his people. So when he says, come out of her, this is really talking about come out of her ways, come out of the, the, the wine of the drunkenness and the sin and the iniquity. Okay, we got to pray for our brothers and sisters in, into pornography. We got to pray for our bro brothers and sisters who have soul ties and have a hard time coming out. They're attached to these things. That y'all break these soul ties and these generational curses so they can come out of it and stay out of it. Hallelujah. Once we come out, we want to stay out. Dang. We don't want to be turning back. Mm -hmm. Because ye were glad, because ye rejoice, oh ye destroyers of mine heritage. Go ahead. They were happy <laughs> to see our destruction and our plight. Mm -hmm. Read that. Came. Okay. Because you were glad. Because ye rejoiced, O oh, ye destroyers of mine heritage, because ye are grown fat as the heifer at grass and bellow as bulls. Mm -hmm. Your mother shall be sore confounded that she bear you. Uh, Your she mother shall be sore confounded. That means Britain, the United Kingdom, who gave birth to the United States. They're all going to be put to shame. Okay. Look at it. Biden is going down, and now the king of England, as soon as he comes into his kingdom, is going down at the same time. Kamala Harris is a buffoon. <laughs> <laughs> and Trump is taking over with a, with a landslide. But let's see if these people on the left allow him to take office because they could trying to mire him down with lawsuit after lawsuit after lawsuit. Oh, man. My computer battery's going down, y'all. You heard, uh, heard what? Um, I might not only have but five or ten minutes less. Um, you heard what the Supreme Court said, right? No. They pretty much, because they're supposed to be arguing against the case about taking him off the ballot. Mm -hmm. And what's been leaked so far is that you know it might be a difficult thing to get him off the ballot. Yeah, but they're gonna try. They they're trying. They're trying. Strategy after strategy after strategy, because they know if Trump come in, he's going to become a king. And as he becomes king, he's going to go after these people, you know, so they're trying to do everything in their power to stop him from taking this position of power. So these are the things that like this is an election year like no other Israel. This is this is the time for us to be awake. We don't need to be caught up in things that will keep us distracted. Because this year is a pivotal year. Probably the most pivotal year since we've been in in our lives and in, in this walk. This year, a lot is going to happen. There's an election that may or may not take place. There's chaos that may that may take place this year or soon thereafter. And the nations are fed up with the United States of America. So we want to come out of it. So that we're separated. So we're going through our tribulation and affliction now because when it comes on the rest of these people, that's their final judgment. We could avoid that final judgment by being faithful and obedient now. So it doesn't matter what laws they pass, but we, we don't want to provoke the enemy and we don't want to tempt Yah by saying things unnecessarily to put ourselves in a position uh, to be in, in a disadvantage and then just expect Yah to get us out of a situation that we could avoid. So we want to avoid unnecessary conflicts and complications. So we're not saying Israel should go out there and just be defiant and say this or do that or, or, or whatever. Everything we say and do should be led by the rock of Yah, just like he says in Matthew 10. Let's go back to Matthew 10 really quickly before this uh, time runs out. He tells us that the Ruach is going to give us utterance of what to say and what not to say. Um, 22. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Mm. But he that endures to the end shall be saved. We got to endure in this season. 
There's going to be people fainting all over the place. And most Christians are going to faint because they have not been prepared for what is coming. They have been lied to. They have been lulled to sleep. They are not ready. We have to endure. Go ahead. Mm. Verse 23. But when they persecute you, persecute you in this city. When they persecute us in Georgia. Flee, in, flee ye into another. Go for, on location like we are now. This is what he <laughs> said to do. <laughs> Go on location. So when they start persecuting you in one city, it's okay to go to another one. That's what Yah commanded us because he said these times would come. So we have to be wise. We have to be discerning. Go ahead. For verily I say unto you, ye shall not have gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man come. Mm. When we start going and we start reaching every city, then expect the Son of Man to come. And now this gospel has pretty much almost reached almost every city. So start expecting the return of the Most High Yah of Yehoshua HaMashiach. Right. That's how you know the true gospel is going forth because America is getting judged. It's facing judgment. And there's nothing they can do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Go ahead. Mm. Yep. Verse 24. <laughs> The disciple is not above his master, nor mm -hmm. the above his Adon. It is enough for the disciples that he be as his master and the servant as his Adon. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more shall they call them of his household? Right. So if they call the Messiah Satan, if they call him Beelzebub, they said to Yehoshua, you in the cult. To the mm -hmm. son of God. If they said to the son of God, you're in the cult, how much more so are they going to say it to us? Mm -hmm. But we got to hold fast regardless of what they say. It don't matter what they say. It matters what Yehoshua says. He's the author of life. When he speaks, things are created. Nobody else can speak and then existence comes into creation. Mm -hmm. Nobody else can say, let there be light and light happens. Nobody else can say, I'm going to breathe breath and this is going to be a living soul. Only y'all can do that. Oh, yeah. So we need to be more concerned with his words. Go ahead. Okay. Verse 26. Fear them not, therefore. Fear them not. Don't be afraid of them. Fear them not. Don't be a fool. Don't put yourself in unnecessary situations, but don't fear them. Go ahead. For there is nothing covered that shall tunnels, not. Tunnels. 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 <laughs> okay. And hid that shall not be known. Hmm. What I tell you in he, dark... Yah revealed the tunnels, but now soon he's going to reveal what's been going on under them. Okay. Wait till he reveals what's going on inside of them and much worse. Go ahead. What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light. Mm -hmm. And what you hear in the ear, that preach ye upon the housetops. Okay. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. But Man. rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Amen. Don't be afraid. Go ahead. Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing? Mm -hmm. and, and one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. Right. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Right. Fear God you not. knows everything about us. Okay. Even down to the hairs on our head or on our body. He counts them all. Go ahead. Fear ye not, therefore, ye are more value than many sparrows. Many sparrows. Go ahead. Whosoever, therefore, shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. And that's why they're mad, because we're confessing our Adonai, our Lord, before the world. Mm. And this is an anti-Messianic people. This is an anti-Christ people who deny him. People who deny the true Messiah are the ones getting protected by the world. But that's okay, because when our Messiah comes, their destruction comes. Go ahead. Yeah. Verse 33. But whosoever shall deny me before men. Who, who's, who made it law that we can't say the Messiah's name in the land of Israel? Who made that a law? Mm -hmm. Who's teaching 
by law, legally, to deny the name of the Messiah and the land of the Messiah. So they can write into human law and legislation whatever they want. That doesn't last forever. Okay. But the word of Yah abides forever. Go ahead. Yeah. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. Mm -hmm. Think not that I am come to send shalom on the earth. The Christians are waiting for shalom on the earth. Mm -hmm. They're not being prepared. They think they're going to be raptured away and not see anything. The lawless ones think that the Most High is just going to save them because they proclaim the name of Jesus Christ. But they don't have the works and the faith. Okay. He's not come to send shalom on earth. Go ahead. I came not to send shalom, but a sword. For Mar I Mar Marceliva, thank you. We, we bless you. Thank you so much for the super chat and the support. We thank you, family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 35. For I, can, for I am come to divide. For the son dishonors the father. The daughter rises up against her mother. The daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies are the men of his own house. Right. So we got to be aware of true family versus the family of the flesh. Amen. That is what we have to start to make distinctions of at this hour. Go ahead. He that loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. So if you take in your father's advice or your mother's advice and that advice is contrary to what Yah says, you're not worthy of what Yah's protection. If you're listening to your girlfriends, if you think if you're listening to what your boss says or, or your boys or or what the street says and this and that, none of that matter, man. What the streets think, who cares what they think? Mm -hmm. If you put any of that before your whole show, you're not worthy of him. So we ought to obey Yah rather than man. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, verse 37. He that loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he you that put your children and what your children think or all of that before Yah, you're not worthy. Mm. So Satan, knowing this, he's going to test some of us through these very same people mm. because he knows what Jehoshua says. So he'll use some of these same people in your life to try to get you to lose your salvation. That's why you got to have this word written deep in your heart. Because mm -hmm. Satan knows these scriptures, and he's going to try to use those people to get you to lose your salvation. Don't give it to him. Hallelujah. 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 Whew. Verse 38. And he that takes not his cross and follows after me is not worthy of me. He that finds his life shall lose it. And he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. He that receives you receives me, and he that receives me receives him that sent me. He that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward, and he that receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. And whosoever shall give to unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water only in the name of a disciple, verily I say unto you, he shall no wise lose his reward. Hey, family. My battery ran out, man. Oh, <laughs> so God. It. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, I told y'all, uh, you know, the power on my device was about to go out. But family, this is the time to understand and prepare ourselves to know, you know, where we're at to come out of this system of Babylon, to come out of it. This is the hour. This is this, this is the time judgments are going to happen this is uh now this is like this is a perfect storm we got world war three at the door we got putin raising up um mm -hmm. fearlessly they just beat the united states through this proxy war which is ukraine all of this is happening during an election year where the, the sitting president is a vegetable and the uh <laughs> <laughs> the the one contending for the presidency is mired in scandal and they're trying to stop him by every means it can happen. Mm -hmm. And the economy is going down. 
college enrollment is plummeting, right? Um, you know um, purpose for it. Right. Um, <laughs> homelessness is increasing. Migrants are being dumped all over us. Um, and they're trying to put them all in our neighborhoods primarily to try to cause us to fight with one another. But it's not going to work. Um, they're actually attacking the police. <laughs> you know, so all of these things are happening. And this is just the beginning of their sorrows. This is the beginning of their sorrows. So they're passing this stuff into legislation, but they don't realize that their house is on fire. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter how much laws they try to pass, their house is on fire. Why did I be sitting at my table trying to pay bills and write, write down payments for who I'm sending out bills to while my house is on fire? <laughs> <laughs> make it make sense. I'm going to sit at my kitchen table and then, and say, oh, okay, I'm going to pay this and I'm, I'm going to do this and I'm going to clear this. I'm sitting at my kitchen table and my house is burning to the ground. That's the United States of America and their legislation at this at this period of time. Dang. It's going to last for a blanket of an eye before this this house burns completely to the ground. So we need to be in a ruach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need to be in the spirit. And we thank y'all all for keeping this Shabbat to the close with us. Hallelujah. Bring up Hallelujah. The, the OK, go ahead. Let me get it. It was up. I think I lost it somewhere. So we want to remind you, family, we're about to start into the holy season, new yes. year coming up. And we know we love you all for your support um, with us. But if you have not, have not kept, oh, if you have not kept a feast, you have not kept a feast with Kayashua. Dang then family you need to get ready if you missed it we're about to share the video about pesach passover it is about that time so check it out and i got i'm gonna give the props while he's here that opening horn is our brother Araki who playing and blowing the trumpet <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> <laughs> all right Shalom, Israel. How y'all feeling today? Okay. Oh, yeah. Man, it's been an exciting year in the past year. And guess what? We're about to enter into a new season of the new year mm -hmm. starting in March, right? Yes. All right. That'll be the month of our leave for us as we're fellowshipping and building. Hola. And we thank you all for the support and for the growth of the ministry. Yes. Oh man, it's been it's been amazing. Dang, <laughs> oh, praise to the most high. So we're grateful for all of our families and for everyone who supported and dwelt with us in this period of growth. We want to invite you for the Passover. What are the dates? Wednesday, March the 27th through Sunday, March the 31st mm -hmm. in Atlanta, Georgia, right. the ATL. A -A -T -L. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. So get ready, family. We've been uh, our Hebrew students. We're mm. going to have graduation That's right. on the 30th. So we know all of you all have to be here. Mm -hmm. um, but we want everybody that that you watch us online and you've been mm -hmm. fellowshipping with us virtually take this opportunity to come fellowship with us in person because I'm telling y'all we some of y'all seen the videos and you all have been here <laughs> right. we praise right, right. we study but we also do what Cain, <laughs> all praises. Hey, Cain, hallelujah. So we are just so excited. Um, we are working on making plans. So in the description of this video, you will see a link that you can click mm -hmm. on to go and start and get your registration. We will have about two weeks where you're going to get a discount of registration. Right. Through the middle of February, and then after that, it's going to go to full registration price. So take that time, register early. Space is limited, and it is hot. You know, we always fill up quickly, so we just thank the most high. Yes. Um, if you've seen our prior fellowships, we, we, we have a wonderful time. 
So if you have never kept the feast, if you, I'm talking to you, <laughs> if you never kept the feast, keep your first one here with us. You won't regret it. You're going to have such a wonderful time. Okay. And this amazing family here and body, we love um, to see you. And um, we'll see you at this Passover. Hallelujah. So Hallelujah. tell them the one more time. Wednesday, March the 27th. That is that evening when the sun goes down. It starts. And we will be fellowshipping and gathering through yes, Sunday, yes, yes. March the 31st. Mm -hmm. So register today. Get that discount today. And remember, space is limited. So hurry up and do it. And we'll see you there. Shalom. 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 <laughs>
Cole Bait Bait Shalom. All of uh, the house of uh Shalom, Bait Shalom. Cain will Cole Divrati Ha Melchizedek. And all the order of Melchizedek. Ubane Yisrael. And the children of Israel. Will Kol Ha Goyim Ha Goyim Natrim Asher Ma'amaneka. And all of the uh and all the Goyim that are of your people. Cain. Hoshienu Bavakwisha. Save us, please. With Tishmor Nu Mayad Ha Torat Anashim. And protect us from the laws of man. Cain. Torat Erich Georgia. And the laws of the land of Georgia. With Torat uh, Babel. And the laws of Babylon. Kol Toratehem Ra'im Meod. All of their laws are very evil. Aval Toratka Yotir uh Zadik Makolahem. But your law is exceedingly greater above all of them. Cain, Dabarka Zadik Meod. And your law, your word is righteous. Cain, Wa Ata Tam Al Kol Ha Anashim. And you are perfect above all men. Toda Shema Tefilatenu. Thank you. Hear our prayers. With Tibarak Kol Amka Bene Yisrael Im Shalomka. And bless your people, all the children of Israel, with your peace. Baruch Shemka. Blessed is your name. Akshal. Now. Tami. Always. Leolam wa'e. Forever and ever. Bashem Adonai Yehoshua HaMashiach. And Hallelujah. In the name of Yehoshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 All praises. Family, this has been a blessing on location. We are grateful to keep the Shabbat and close the Shabbat with you. And end the last week and begin the new week with you. So may y'all bless you in the week ahead and bless our uh, special shalom to our elder, Kohen Aluf, Elder Zohar, Kohen El, Ovid Yahoo, um, to all of our students, sisters in submission, Ima Eliana, Ima Kanani, Sister Lakia, um, Brother Joe, uh, everybody, man, Kayil, okay. Eliezer, <laughs> ha, uh, uh, ha Goyim, um, Uzer Reishi, Yeshayahu, my beloved brother. Gadelia, Im Kanani, Shuvi. I would love it, Shuvi. Bainey, all of the Kaya Shua, Rocky Who family, Ima, Denise, Kim, Steph, everybody. Y'all bless you all. Okay. We pray that y'all have a wonderful Shabbat mm -hmm. and, a, a, and a blessed new week. Come on, I'm going to do this right for Sister Nicole. Yes, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, May y'all bless you, man. Uh, we'll talk to y'all later. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat, Shabbat shalom. shalom.